What's up, ladies and gentlemen of the internet? How are you guys doing? Today, we're gonna unbox and take an initial first look at the Wahoo Element Roam. We're gonna go over what you get when you buy this device, all of the details about the computer, and what I like about it, and what I think could be done a little bit better. Okay, quick disclaimer first, Wahoo did not send me this device for this review. Uh, this device comes to me from the Dialed Cycling Lab and I'll definitely leave a link to them down below in the description of this video, just in case you wanna pick up this device for yourself. And Wahoo isn't paying me or sponsoring this video in any way uh, and they won't get to see footage or parts of the video before you guys get to see it when it goes live on YouTube. But when you do open up the box, what you'll first notice is of course the device itself, the Wahoo Element Roam unit. Uh, but also in addition to that, in the box, you'll get one of those integrated front mounts, which they kind of designed to kind of sit flush with the bike. Definitely super nice. Uh, I definitely prefer it to any of the mounts that I've seen from Garmin. But you'll also get a USB micro charging cable I do wish that they would switch this to USB-C, uh, but I think that they'll eventually get there in their next product lines. You'll also have uh, warranty information and kind of a quick setup guide. They also provide an extra mount, and that little mount could go on your stem or your handlebars or even aero bars or someplace like that. Uh, and then they provide some zip ties so you can attach that mount. And the Wahoo Element Roam is a pretty big computer. It weighs 93 grams and it has a 2.7 inch display with a really nice 240 pixel by 400 pixel display. And the pixel density on Wahoo computers I think is excellent. And the screen seems to have a really nice high contrast. So it appears very visible to me in direct sunlight. And compared to other bike computers, just for reference, the Garmin 530 and their 830 devices weigh in at about 75 grams and have a 2.6 inch display. So this is just a little bit bigger uh, and a little bit heavier. And Wahoo says that the battery for this device will go 17 hours, but I didn't ride that long to test it out. It also has an IPX7 level water rating, which means it should be fine to ride in the rain or even like drop in a puddle. Uh, I don't think I would go swimming with it or anything weird like that. Uh, but the glass on top of this device is made of Gorilla Glass. So you might be familiar with that from your smartphone, uh, but it should be pretty durable and pretty resistant to scratches. And you know, that's just another thing that I'm not really willing to test out. I'm not gonna drag keys across this device or anything like that. It also has an ambient light sensor, uh, which just means that it's gonna automatically adjust to different lighting conditions, whether you're riding at night or early morning, or potentially just right during the middle of the day. And adjusting that screen brightness should also help extend battery life. And this device has AMP Plus and Bluetooth, so it should be able to connect to any of your cycling devices, including power meters and heart rate meters, or even Garmin's Varia radar device. And for me personally, I wasn't able to find any devices that I found difficult to connect to this particular head unit, and I don't think that you're gonna find any devices either. With the Wahoo Element Roam, you're able to get a lot more detailed streets, street names, uh, and features that'll assist you with navigating to specific locations, or just to help you find the fastest way home. And this large screen is a color screen, which I find fantastic. They don't overwhelm you with colors or anything like that. They just seem to use it subtly. Uh, I think this device only is able to display maybe like eight or so colors. Uh, so the maps and things like that still look like they have a lot of contrast, but because of the addition of the colors, I think it's just a little bit easier to use. And the Element Roam costs $380, which is pretty pricey for a bike computer. 
And if I can find a better price or a discount code or something like that, I'll definitely link it below in the description of this video. And even though this is a very expensive bike computer, there definitely are quite a few bike computers on the market that kind of are in that similar price range. The most obvious would be the Garmin 530 and the 830 devices, which are priced at $300 and $400 respectively. There's also a device called the Hammerhead Karoo, which is going for $400. And I think they're about to announce a version two of that device. So if you're looking at this device, you might also wanna check out those other devices. Okay, and at the risk of spoiling the conclusion of this video, this Wahoo Element Roam is a fantastic option. Uh, setting up Wahoo computers is super easy. It's all done with the smartphone. Uh, all you have to do is pull up the QR code on the device and then just show the app, the QR code on your smartphone and you're good to go. The screen visibility on this device, you know, this one as well as the Bolt, even in direct sunlight is fantastic. Definitely some of the best visibility of any of the bike computers that I've tested. And I think Wahoo screens just have less of a glossy finish to them and the screens sit up very high on the devices. And I mentioned that Maps looks absolutely fantastic on this device. And one of my favorite things really about any of the Wahoo computers is just the ability to change the number of data fields on this device quickly on the fly with just the tap of one of these buttons, kind of zooming in on specific data fields that you find most important. And I'm not suggesting that Garmin should steal this idea, but they should probably steal this idea. And the Wahoo Element Roam can show you a maximum of 11 data fields per any screen on the device. Uh, and in comparison, the Wahoo Element Roam maxes out at nine. And I would say that there are very few reasons why I wouldn't recommend this device. Uh, more annoyances than things that I really dislike about it. Uh, but Wahoo devices definitely seem to take significantly longer to start up. Uh, they actually show this little guy warming up, which is cute, but it does take a while. And another annoyance would just be the lack of third-party apps available for the device. For example, I really wanna dig into aerometers and showing live CDA data. And at the time of this recording, uh, you really need to use Garmin's Connect IQ app. And it's just really the only way to do that. And those again are third party screens that you can actually put on Garmin devices. So that's my little weird reason for potentially wanting a Garmin, but you might have something completely different. Like maybe you wanna kinda of keep an eye on air quality, which would be a specific Garmin Connect IQ app, or maybe you want calories burned uh, in beers instead of calories like a normal person, uh, which is an actual Connect IQ app that someone has built. Uh, but basically anytime you allow third party apps on your device, it really allows you to just make the device more personal. So knowing these couple of issues, would I recommend this device? Absolutely. Could you save money and go with something smaller like the Wahoo Element Bolt? Absolutely. In fact, that's probably what I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna continue to do most of my rides with that Wahoo Element Bolt. Uh, and would I recommend that you consider something else in the similar price range? Absolutely. I still think that you should seriously consider that Garmin 530 computer. It's $80 less, and it does a lot of the same things that this particular computer does. And in some ways, it can do more, you know, with that ability for developers to make, you know, custom IQ apps. Uh, but ultimately, the Wahoo Element Roam is a fantastic cycling computer. If you purchase it, I can pretty much guarantee that you will not be disappointed. Uh, it's got great mapping. It has that large, clear color screen, and it's still definitely one of the easiest bike computers to use on the market. So if you're interested in picking up one of these devices, I'll leave a link in the description of this video below. Uh, those will be affiliate links. If you use them, definitely supports the channel and I do really appreciate it. And if you're into this sort of thing and that would be swimming, biking, or running, definitely consider subscribing to the channel. There's also a little notification bell down here somewhere as well. Uh, you're gonna wanna switch that to all 
just so you're notified of whenever I post new videos, which is typically about once per week. All right, guys, I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video, and we will see you guys on the next one.